Well, good evening. Here we are. Another day comes to its close. Father God, we invite you to be with us this night. Though you are never away from us, we are so often distracted from you. Lord, by the power of your spirit, bring us your peace, your stillness now, we pray. The Lord Almighty, grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. So a moment of reflection on the day coming to its close, and especially on the things where we have fallen short of that which we would have wished to be. And bringing to mind the failings of the day, we say, Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son. And Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 16 Preserve me, O God, for in you have I taken refuge. I have said to the Lord, You are my Lord. All my good depends on you. All my delight is upon the godly that are in the land, upon those who are noble in heart. Only idols are legion that many run after. Their drink offerings of blood I will not offer. Neither make mention of their names upon my lip. The Lord himself is my portion and my cup. In your hands alone is my fortune. My share has fallen in a fair land. Indeed, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel. And in the night watches he instructs my heart. I have set the Lord always before me. He's at my right hand. I shall not fall. Wherefore, my heart is glad and my spirit rejoices. My flesh also shall rest secure. For you will not abandon my soul to death, nor suffer your faithful one to see the pit. You will show me the path of life, and in your presence is the fullness of joy and in your right hand the pleasures for evermore glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Matthew 24, verses 13 and 14a. The one who endures to the end will be saved. And this good news of the kingdom will be proclaimed throughout the world as a testimony to all the nations. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. O King most blessed, on the day of judgment, number us among your chosen. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. O King most blessed, on the day of judgment, number us among your chosen. Father God, we bring this day to its close with thanks for all it has been. We give you thanks for the blessings we have received this day at the hands of others, for the blessings that you have made known to us by your provision. And Father, we come before you now. We reflect on those blessings. And as we reflect on the day now coming to its close, We lay all, all the good, all the blessings, all the opportunities, all the love shared, given, received. And Father, as we rest in your arms, as we rest in your peace now, we ask that your spirit would show for us taking away the fragments of pain, the disappointments, the times when we have failed to bless others this day. Lord, bring us your peace as we prepare to go to our beds. Bring us your comfort, your confidence. Father God, wash us in your spirit, cleanse us as we go to our beds this night. Take away the disappointments, cover our sins. Reach into us and make us whole.
Lord, with the images before us, with the will, with the blades evident, we think of those who, like Catherine, were put to death in the most barbaric and horrid ways. We think of the martyrs who have died for their faith. We think of those who have died for their countries, against oppressors, fearlessly defending the rights of others. Lord, we think of the way that our world sanitises and removes the pain, the blood, the terror. But in a simple child's firework, in that one spinning disc, which catches the eye and brings such joy, has behind it Catherine Will, an instrument of death and torture. Father, as we think of Catherine this night, we pray for all who have had their lives cruelly and wickedly taken. You are the judge of our hearts and of our lives. You are the ruler and the healer of nations, Father God. And in a week which has been marred by lives lost in the channel as wicked men taking money to overfill a boat send people including children and a pregnant woman to their death father we pray for justice we pray for mercy not revenge but mercy and we pray for humility that we never think ourselves better or more important than others, that we never think our nation better or more important than other nations. But Lord, we pray that we would see the good in all people, that we would find the things we can applaud in other nations, and where we find things we can't, that we would stand rightly with mercy and justice of forethought. And proclaim your law, your commandments, boldly and bravely. And Father, for the man on the right, Isaac Watts, a man who scored and returned in retirement to just literally up the road from the place where I, as a child in single figures and beyond, would play. A man who wrote worship, a man who led worship, a man who wrote such songs. And Father, as we think of those who write songs, as we think of those who make music, Father, we think of the words that he who sings prays twice. Words that have been so often attributed to St Augustine. And Father, if only it was true. What a shame he didn't say those words, for they should be true. For as we come and we make music to you with piano, with guitars, with voice. He can it bizorat. I remember seeing it on the wall. And yet the words aren't there. They're just some clever words from someone which actually echo a truth I think should be. So Father, at half past six tomorrow night when the choir get together, may they sing 
and in doing so may they worship twice in the music they make and the words that they utter. Father God, you have made us in your image. And the image of Father, Son and Holy Spirit singing, being at the beginning of creation. Father God, we thank you. We thank you for all, all that is all that music is for the world. As we think of these three beings, the tonic, the root and the dominant, one, three and five, or the image of the Father, Son and Holy Spirit taking a note each. In the beginning, the world was formless and shapeless, and God sang over it. One, three, five, that power chord, that completely wonderful, resonant sound. Father God, this night as we go to our beds, we pray that you sing over us. But in the perichoretic trio, in the eternally moving relationship of the Trinity, Father, Son and Holy Spirit would sing over us, would bless us, would lull us to sleep, would take away our fears, would sing, would strum into the deepest parts of us, that we might know your presence, Lord, that we might resonate with your love. Father God, this night we thank you for Isaac Watts and the ministry he had, for the music he gave, for the worship he lived. Father, we see in Watts an amazing man a man who struggled with the concept of the Trinity, if only he'd seen it in the, in the image of those three notes. Others led him to believe he'd become a Unitarian. Yet, Lord, with the music he makes, with the power of his words, music. Lord, he has touched so many hearts. He has spurred so much faith. So we thank you for his ministry and for the ministry of all who have made music. It was only days ago we looked at the life of Cecilia, a woman who hosted the church and is the patron saint of musicians. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for your voice, for your creativity which is found in us. And Lord, as we go to our beds now, we pray that we might hear the strains of your love. So God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, sing your song over us this night. Calm troubled souls with the song of the Spirit. Breathe your melodies 
the worship of the angels, the wonders of the breeze and the noise that your creation makes. Soothe us with your balm, inspire us with your passion and help us to worship, to adore, to make you known in all that we are. And eternal Father, whose Son Jesus Christ ascended to the throne of heaven, that he might rule over all things as Lord and King. Keep the Church in the unity of the Spirit, and in the bond of peace, and in the wonder of your music. And bring the whole created order to worship at his feet, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and for ever. Amen. With the words our Saviour gave us, we are bold, we are privileged to say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May the light of Christ, the King of all, shine ever brighter in our hearts, that with all the saints in light we may shine forth as lights in the world. Amen. Thanks for being with us. Sleep well. May you wake refreshed. Good night, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.